What is going on everyone? This is Cedric Sky Seti and welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna talk about my LASIK eye surgery experience here in Korea. Now, I know this is gonna be a very big topic and very informative for you guys because a lot of you who are following my social media told me in response to my stories that I posted about my LASIK that you wanted me to make a video and so that's what I'm doing right now. Hopefully this video will be helpful. I wanna be very efficient and I just wanna to get to the point in this video just to give you guys whatever information that you need and to maybe give you a little boost or encouragement if you guys are thinking about going through the same procedure. Now, before I get into all of that, if you stumbled across this video and you don't know who I am, my name is Cedric Skysetti. I am a man living here in South Korea. I'm a filmmaker and photographer here and I'm just on a journey to tell stories in Korea. So. If you are into that sort of thing, hit that subscribe button for more dope content that's coming your way. Now, let me give you guys a little bit of a background on the history of my vision. I've been wearing corrective lenses for over 20 years. In fact, closer to 25 years. Ever since elementary school, I started wearing glasses. And as I got older, my vision just got worse year after year, all the way up until about age 19 or 20, my vision balanced out, but it was pretty bad. I had severe well, I guess I consider it severe nearsightedness, which is where everything that's close to me or super close to me, I could see and it's in focus, but everything beyond a certain point, which for me was about right here, I don't know if you could see that distance, was blurry. And the further out it got, the blurry it got. So I needed to wear either glasses or contact lenses. And I've been wearing contact lenses pretty much most of my adult life. So anyways, if you guys know anything about the corrective lenses numbers, for contacts, my left eye was negative eight and my right eye was negative seven, so that's pretty bad. As you guys know, if you guys wear corrective lenses, especially contacts, that it can be pretty annoying to have to every day either clean your contacts and store them or if you had dailies like I've been wearing the last couple of years, you know, just buying the contacts every month or every couple of months gets pretty pricey. And so I heard about the LASIK surgery experience here in Korea and how efficient and how even inexpensive it is compared to the United States. Now that you guys know a little bit about my vision history, I want to share with you a little bit about how the procedure went, my feelings going through the procedure, and even show you a little bit of what my recovery was like just a few days after the procedure. Now before I get into that, there are really two major types of popular eye corrective laser surgeries that I'm aware of, and that's LASIK and LASIK. LASIK being where they cut a flap into your eye and they correct your cornea, they reshape your cornea, and then that flap that they cut on the top surface level of your eye, they put back onto the eyeball and within two or three days, you're good to go, everything is healed up. The only thing is the flap is still there. It still remains cut on your eyeball. And so at some point in the future, you do run the risk of that flap being irritated or maybe you're like swimming underwater, the flap comes loose or something, I don't know. That's LASIK, very popular procedure and it's a safe procedure, but LASIK is a little bit different in that they don't cut a flap and so what they do is they actually take off I believe the top layer of your eyeball, <laughs> it sounds pretty gross. I guess it's the cornea, I don't know. There's like some little layer of membrane and they remove that and then they go in with the laser and they correct the cornea that way. And then uh, within a few days, that top layer grows back and it heals back. And so with LASIK, there is a longer recovery time and I'm able to actually talk about that experience because out of everything, that was like the least fun part was a recovery time. The actual procedure itself took maybe 15 minutes total with both eyeballs and it's totally painless. I didn't feel any pain, maybe a little bit of pressure, but they numb your eyes and everything was pretty good. If I needed to go through that procedure again, I could totally do it with no problem. Now, why did I decide to do it in Korea? Simply because I heard that the LASIK procedures here were done all the time and they were pretty popular. I felt pretty comfortable that the doctors here knew what they were doing and they've seen enough patients and done enough procedures for me to feel comfortable to put my eyeballs under that sort of stress. So because of that, I felt comfortable enough to go ahead and consider doing it here in Korea. And another factor is the price. Now, when comparing prices, 
to the US, at least when I was in the United States living in New Jersey, I don't know about other parts of the States and comparing the prices here in Korea, it's far cheaper to do it here. Now, I don't wanna get into the specifics of numbers and costs. I'll just throw out a ballpark number just to give you an idea of the differences that I experienced. I was quoted about $3,3500 when I was in the States, something like that, I can't re really remember. But here in Korea, I was able to do it for almost half of that. And uh, not only that, but all of the follow-up care and stuff like that was included. As far as me feeling nervous about the procedure, yes, of course I was nervous. I mean, the thought of a laser cutting into your eyeball is, uh, it's, it's not a comforting thought, but uh, I knew that I was in good hands. I was able to find the doctor that I went through through a lot of recommendations online and I read a lot of reviews on the company and also they worked with a lot of foreigners or people who spoke English. So basically here is the timeline of the experience. When I decided that I wanted to get it done, the first thing I needed to do was get a pre-operation consultation and examination. And so two weeks before my scheduled procedure, what I did was I scheduled an appointment to get my eyes checked and for them to first of all tell me if I was even qualified to get LASIK. In that consultation they tell you if you're qualified for the procedure number one and also they go through very specific details on the status of your eye and, and why you are qualified or not qualified for the procedure. They go through all of that with you, answer whatever questions you have, and then they schedule the actual procedure. And so I scheduled the procedure for two weeks later. Now the standard recovery time for my type of procedure is about a week for you to, I guess, function as normal, but the thing is, you're gonna always need, at least for the first three to six months after surgery, is you're going to need to wear these bad boys outside, sunglasses that protect your eyes from UV light. This is something that I'm pretty much stuck with outside every time I walk outside, even on cloudy days. The other thing is your vision isn't going to be perfect at least for about a month or so after the actual procedure. So the recovery time does include your vision getting all the way up to 100% or near 100%. And so just to give you an idea, right now I can see everything clearly but I still have days where my vision is a little blurry. At night, I am starting to see halos around lights, especially when I go outside. So my vision isn't 100%, my eyes are still sensitive to light. And yeah, so I think it's gonna be like that for probably a couple of more weeks and I should be good to go. Overall, totally happy with my decision. One of the best decisions that I ever made, to be honest with you. Um, it really was worth the recovery time and some of the pain that was associated with it. You guys are gonna see that in a few minutes, what I had to go through. I totally recommend this procedure for anyone who qualifies for it and it's definitely worth the money. I'm gonna show you guys my experience on procedure day and a couple of days following and uh, I'll come back with some final thoughts and so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm out here in Gangnam and literally, Right now is when I'm supposed to be at the eye place and I'm sitting here talking to you guys, but I wanted to let you guys see me right before I go in and let you guys know how I'm feeling. So as you can imagine, I'm not gonna lie, a little bit nervous because the thought of them scrubbing and cutting and lasering through my eyeballs doesn't really appeal to me. But anyways, I'm supposed to not feel any pain with this procedure, so hopefully that is the case. And I think the recovery part is gonna take the longest and it's gonna be the most painful, if anything. So uh, anyways, I'm pretty sure I'm in good hands. Uh, this place, I Medi here in Gangnam, has a lot of good reviews, and I have somebody behind the camera helping me as well, so very thankful for that. So I don't know how much I can show you guys in terms of once we go into the place, but hopefully you can see a little bit, and uh, I'll update you guys after the procedure on how it goes. Audiobooks mostly, uh -huh. and third floor. That's about all I can do. Hopefully, if I can navigate YouTube a little bit, I can listen to some stuff on YouTube. But Did they say how long the healing process will be? Uh, well, yeah. the doctor said that by Monday I should be able to go to work. Today's Wednesday. By Monday. Yeah. Uh, my eyes again, briefly. Uh, 
Yes. <laughs> smoother than I thought I uh the only thing I could like think in there is like keep looking at the green light because you gotta like keep looking straight and I was like tempted to like move my eye around but like I think my eyes are still numb but I didn't feel anything except the coldness of like whatever liquid they were putting on my eyes but that was good it's right in the left eye okay uh, during surgery I remove the superficial cells from this area right Okay, everyone please. Okay, close your eyes please. Keep close your eyes please. Keep close your eyes please. Okay. Wait outside for 10 minutes. Okay. And then you can go home. All right. Tell me what happened in the surgery room. So, after I went into the surgery room, so they laid me down on the table and uh, they cleaned my eyes and then they taped it. So one eye was exposed, so I knew we were about to start. And like, I, I like kind of wanted to run out the room to be honest like my heart started beating I was like okay you could do it and before I knew it because they had already positioned me in place they had pretty much started so you know Dr. Lee was just telling me to just look at the green light it was just a green light that I had to look at the whole time and it started actually before I realized it started because you can't feel anything so so within I would say six seven minutes it was done with my first eye and then after that, I was like, okay, I can do the other eye, so. You weren't scared after you did the first eye? No, 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 no. Before the first eye, yeah. And it's crazy. I thought I'd be in pain right now, or, like, I couldn't see, but I could see. It looks like, it feels like I have my contacts in. It's just at night, and it's a little blurry, and I'm, like, tired. It's crazy. I'm prepared with my Ray-Bans. All right, here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> wow, this is great. I can't believe this. I can see it's still, it's a little like funky. It's a little blurry, but I can see. I can see that says Gangnam style. It's crazy. Well, I already knew it said that, but even if I didn't, I'll be able to see it. 
Hangam Square. <gasps> Cool. So the new life begins. So I gotta get the recovery and hopefully it'll be smooth sailing. It's currently day two after surgery. Had the surgery yesterday afternoon at two o'clock. It is now a little after 5 p.m. the next day. And today wasn't as bad as I had expected it to be, but I do feel a little pain in my eyeballs right now, and it's much more comforting to wear sunglasses. As you can see, it's a little bright in here. Um, and it's not so much because of the brightness of the light, but I don't know, maybe it's a placebo effect because uh, my eyes hurt regardless, they still hurt right now. But uh, the type of pain that I'm feeling is, it's more of a, like something's in both of my eyes and it's very scratchy. Um, it's manageable, but uh, it is very uncomfortable. Overall, not too bad. I've been out and about here and there today, actually. So, probably shouldn't be. But I uh, just wanted to keep you guys updated on day two. Okay, guys, let me give you an update. Today is Sunday, September 15th. So it's, I believe, the fourth day after surgery. And uh, I wanted to record like update videos for you guys every day, just to kind of show you my progress. But uh, after the second day or somewhere in the middle of the second day my eyes started feeling very uncomfortable and so i really wasn't in the mood to film so uh let's let's go back to day one so when i got the surgery everything was good a uh, little discomfort but everything was numb from the surgery day two in the morning i had a hard time seeing things clearly but my eyes felt okay and then halfway through the day i started feeling like the scratchy feeling in my eyeballs and so I went out to dinner that night because uh, I was feeling okay enough to do that and it started feeling a lot worse and the next day, day three, was the worst day. So I was pretty much miserable the whole day. Um, the feeling that I felt was just uh, pain in my eyeballs and it was just like sandpaper uh, that was behind my eyelids and, and I couldn't like get rid of the feeling. I took my pain meds that they gave me but it did not work and so basically the whole day all I did was just sleep. So I would wake up, I'd stay up for a couple of hours, maybe not even a couple of hours, like an hour or two and then sleep for an hour or two and that was my whole day. So it was like misery. I was by myself and um, I just got through it by sleeping. So, so day three passed. Day four, which was yesterday, felt a lot better uh, but I was still a little uncomfortable and then today I feel good as well. The, the, the main symptoms that I'm feeling now is just my eyes are really heavy. So I don't know if it's because my eyes are uh, still swollen or, or not, but it's hard for me to keep my eyes open. So I have to have sunglasses on pretty much inside and definitely outside. So that's the update for you. So I'm hoping that tomorrow, which is the day I go back to work, my eyes will be a little bit better. Uh, but it's supposed to be a gradual process. So every day it's gonna get better and improve little by little. So just wanted to update you guys on that. As you guys saw, the struggle got a little real, especially after a couple of days after the surgery, but it was totally worth going through it, especially when now I have the gift of vision again and there's nothing like it because you don't realize what you're missing when you wear corrective lenses, especially when your vision is really bad until you get your vision back. And so I am totally glad and very thankful and grateful for the fact that I went through this surgery and that the clinic took good care of me. Now my final thoughts are this, if you're considering going through a similar procedure to correct your vision, go for it. Uh, if, if fear is holding you back or stopping you because you're afraid of maybe the doctors making a mistake or you being the one out of the millionth person where uh, your vision you know, something funky goes on with it. You know, just don't let those fears stop you. I'm totally happy that I went through with it. And again, the pain that is associated with the recovery of LASIK is totally worth it. You know, just get through the first few days and you're gonna be golden. Also, the place that I went to in Gangnam, the place is called iMedi and the doctors there are amazing. And they also speak English for those of you guys that prefer English. So if you're ever in Korea or you ever plan a trip to Korea and you're gonna stay for an extended period of time, I definitely recommend you checking them out if you're considering the procedure. All right, guys, gonna wrap it up right there. If there are some questions 
questions that you still find unanswered after watching this video or if there's something I maybe left out, feel free to drop a comment and I'll see if I can respond to the best of my ability. Also, again, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell for more future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video and remember to always seize the day. Peace.